At some point in the recording process, you'll need to create a reference mix or rough mix for yourself or others to hear. This video segment will show you how to quickly set up a basic rough mix, add effects, and bounce the mix to disc. After recording basic tracks, I like to make a rough mix of each track in order to evaluate the quality of the performances and the recording, and to check the arrangement before moving forward with the next phase of the recording process. Let's practice setting up a rough now using the O3 Mr. Right All Tracks session from the DVD in this book. This session contains all of the tracks recorded for this song. If you look at the mix window, you see that all faders are up at 0 dB. This is most definitely not a mix. In order to get a reference mix for this track, we'll start by doing a few things to help manage our gain structure. First, let's add a master fader to control the overall level of the tracks and knock it down about 3 dB. This will give us some headroom to work with. Next, we'll create a drum group so we can easily control that cluster of tracks. Click on the kick drum track name, then shift click the room mic track name. This will highlight all of the drum track names. Now type command G to bring up the create group window. Name this group drums and click OK. If you have the group solo turned on in group attributes, you should be able to solo one of the drum tracks and turn on the solo mode for all of those tracks. You can balance levels between the drum tracks to get a good overall sound, but since those tracks are grouped, moving one fader will move them all. To adjust one fader in a group, press and hold the control key while making your level change on that fader. This will temporarily exempt that track from the group until the control key is released. Once you're level